Yo what's up guys welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get custom discard background and themes. I never used to know how to do this and now I'm going to show you guys how to do it and it's really simple. So firstly at the top of the description there's going to be a link here for a github for better discard app. You're going to want to scroll down here and it depends what you're on windows and mac. Obviously I'm on windows so I'm going to click on this. It's going to go ahead and download it onto my desktop. I'll do that right now. And bandage bd it should be called. Then you're going to want to click on bandage bd. And it's going to come up with all this. You just want to agree and install Bandage BD. See, what you're going to want to do here, guys, is just install to stable. So it's going to be your actual uh, disk drive instead of Canary and PTB. And you're going to click install. Then your Discord will restart with Bandage. And once it does uh, restart, I'll get back to you guys. So right now, guys, my Discord has just restarted. And as you can see, Bandage BD has completed the install. So I'm just going to click exit here. And I'm going to now show you my Discord. It now says Bandage BD, what's new, it says all these things here, so you'll, you'll know when it's worked and you'll just click the X here. So as you see now that you've installed Bandage BD, things look a little bit like the same apart from there's a public thing at the top left here and you don't need to worry about that right now. But once you've installed Bandage BD, you're going to click here and you'll see all these settings, emotes, plugins, themes and custom CSS which is you don't need that right now but this is what we want themes okay so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go back to the browser and I'm gonna leave another link in the description for all of the themes that you can download so there's all these to choose from but I've gone ahead and picked frosted glass which is personally my favorite theme it looks great so I'm gonna download that so as you can see guys frosted glass is now installed and I've dragged it to my desktop this is all you need you're gonna go onto discord back to the themes and click open themes folder then, as you can see, there'll be nothing in there. Obviously, if you've never, if you've never done this before, and you see, I want to drag this in. It's that simple, and it'll instantly go to your Discord. And the way to apply it is literally just click, and it will go ahead and apply the theme. As you can see now, the Discord looks a lot nicer and cleaner. It's uh, actually fixed now. It, it looks great. Um, but you can obviously edit these things. For example, the background, which can be edited very easily. So all you're going to want to do is just go back onto Discord user settings themes and just open theme folder now that your theme folder is open you're going to right click on frosty glass or whatever theme you installed and edit with notepad plus plus or edit with notepad it's that simple and then you're going to want to go to any imager imager so obviously this let me just pick this one right here i don't know just any photo just for example guys so let's say i want this ferrari right here so I'm going to right click this and I'm going to click copy image address and as you can see background image URL is right there. You just want to, it has to have JPEG at the bottom, at the back so I recommend using Imager and you're just going to remove that and replace it with this and click save. <clears throat> Once you have saved it, it should instantly change on your Discord and as you can see it's instantly changed on my Discord. And that right there, guys, is how you install a background and theme for Discord in 2020. Thank you guys for watching the video.